making a weird noise. Send it. Oh. I want to like drift this with the foam tire. Ooh. Other RCs that I have. This is a HPI Blitz. She's just over there having a hoot. I think I might have broke this one the last time I took it out, so we'll see if it still works or not. I think the motor in this one's junk. You should go in that over there. Wide open. You should fling it out in the middle of there. Just fling it off there oh, between the trees. What is wrong with this fucking fucking? Just fling it off there. In the grass over there. That thing's blocked, dude. Ooh, coming in that. Do that again. What? Fling it in there. It's not gonna work much longer, I don't think. Well, run it till it dies. Holy <laughs> I think I'm <laughs> Help that you just hit the curb. And the servo arm broke. God damn it. What's going on everybody? Uh, today uh, I've been kind of busy. I haven't been filming a whole lot, but I did uh, do uh, some tuning on a, another H to B Honda Civic. It was uh, pretty much the same setup as the last uh, Honda H to B that I tuned. Uh, this one was a H23 Skunk 2 intake manifold. Um, I think it had like some head porting and stuff like that, uh, GSR trans. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I he came down and he was gonna get a base map from me, uh, and then just decided to get a full tune instead, just because uh, you know, like I base maps are literally just meant to um, to start and run the car. Uh, sometimes my base maps, because I've tuned quite a few Hondas, uh, I have a lot of good maps already made and sometimes similar uh, sometimes setups are so similar that 
you can just get a base map from me and they work out great. Uh, and you honestly could probably just run the thing and it'd be completely fine. Uh, but I always recommend getting a full tune because like I said, every engine could be a little bit different. You never know. Uh, it's sometimes a different intake manifold or a head, you know, cylinder head or whatever can make a huge difference on the tune. Or if your car has issues like a big vacuum leak or a sticky idle air control valve or anything like that, any mechanical issues, or if you have a check engine light on, anything like that can alter a base map. So uh, I'm kind of getting sick of accused and blamed for um, not supplying a good tune when uh, people expect like the world out of a base map. Uh, just because a base map is not meant to go to the track and run the best time you ever ran or make the most horsepower, it's literally meant to start and run the car. To find issues like vacuum leaks or oil leaks or anything like that, so I'm just trying to clear some of this stuff up for you guys because I've had, um, I've been pretty busy lately with tuning cars and I wanted to just kind of clarify the difference between a base map and a um, street tune or a full tune. Base maps, like I said, meant to start and run the car to help you find your issues or whatever, like if you have vacuum leaks or exhaust leaks or whatever, um, a base map is kind of meant to be there so you can start the car and fix your issues. Uh, and then maybe drive it to the tuner or trailer it to the tuner or whatever. Full tune um, pretty much is me in the car live tuning the car. So if there is issues with the map that I gave you or a base map, uh, this is kind of for fine tuning. Uh, I set the air fuel ratio where it's supposed to be in every situation. So idle, cruising around, wide open throttle. Um, and then I set a base ignition. Um, where pretty much all Hondas are happy. Uh, I don't usually need a dyno when I'm tuning Hondas just because uh, I've done so many of them that they, uh, the ignition is always the same. It never usually changes or anything, with, especially with like all motor car. Hopefully that kind of makes sense and uh, helps anybody looking for a tune or if they need a tune, a difference between a base map and a uh, full tune. Obviously the full tune is going to be uh, when you leave from getting a full tune, the car should not have hiccups. It should not stutter or, you know, anything like that. It should be a smooth running car by the time you're done getting tuned. Unless you have other issues, like I said. I can't stress that enough. If your car has issues, don't blame the tune usually. People look right past the issues that their car has and blame the tune. Today we are going to go and uh, I helped out my buddy uh, fix his Honda. He had a, a couple of wires mixed up uh, when he put his motor swap in and I just kind of went there and helped him switch some wires around. And uh, now I'm gonna go help my other friend with uh, soldering some injector clips onto his um, Civic. He's upgrading fuel injectors and needs to put different injector clips onto the harness. And uh, I guess he just likes when I solder because I do a good job. All right, so what the fuck are we doing today? Injectors. We're gonna wire uh, new pigtails onto this harness here? Yep. Oh, you got some new engine mounts. Yeah, you like those? Yeah, those are uh, pretty fancy. As stiff as shit, dude. Yeah, good. Bucks. Good, good, 60 bucks. Not too bad. Let's try to heat shrink. All right, so uh, what are we gonna need to do this job? We're gonna need uh, <clears throat> my soldering iron. Uh, this is a really nice soldering iron. It's I got it from Hobbytown USA. It's a Track Power TK950. It's adjustable temperature. This thing heats up in the blink of an eye. We're gonna need some solder. And we're gonna need a lighter for our heat shrink. Where the fuck's the heat shrink, Michael? Sorry. <laughs> okay and some heat shrink. I'm gonna start filming some stuff on Michael's car here. Better turn that music off. YouTube, YouTube's gonna yell at me. So this is a, what year is this thing, a 98? This is 2000. Oh, it's a 2000, fancy. Uh, super clean, EK coupe minus the clear coat. It's kind of like the Mustang, it's red and uh, has clear coat fading, imagine that. Uh, this is the motor that was in it. Uh, it looks mint, a nice uh, 
nice nice block here uh, it grenaded because he drove it through a puddle uh, yeah I don't even know where the broken rod went Snaps, too bad oh, look at that fucking time. girdle. Yeah, that's... I'd, I'd run that. You know what's funny is you probably could still use this. <laughs> oh, there's supposed to be a lip there. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's funny because the uh, when <clears throat> these crank pulleys actually get chips in them, it'll unbalance the whole motor and you can spin rod bearings. I've done it. That block was cracked when we put it to... Uh, when I was in the car and it was leaking oil, so I just JB welded a bunch of uh, uh, RTV and JB weld on it, and uh, it fixed the leak for a while. And then he drove it through a puddle, and water broke through the JB weld, and uh, yeah. But yeah, here's the chunk that we JB welded. Yeah, looks good. <clears throat> so he currently has a car. It's a two. Th uh, what's the other one? The white one. 98 Honda Civic, with a turbo single cam, has made like. 250 wheel horsepower for like seven years now it's like an indestructible motor and, and he's trying to make more horsepower um so and then he's going to swap everything into this shell so we're going to be wiring injector clips on it because he's going he's got some thousand cc injectors right yeah thousands and we're going to wire the clips onto here oh yeah same intercooler as i got So you don't break it. <laughs> right. Yep, same exact intercooler that's on the Mustang. Can't beat it for the price. Look at this fucking mess. So we know this injector is together. This one. And then this one has a missing wire. And this is together, I think. And then I'm assuming this wire goes to there. I don't know. We're going to clean this up real quick. It's crazy how much you can like. You can take a 20 minute clip and make it 20 seconds. Yeah. All right, so we got this harness kind of done. We're just going to tape all of it together and it'll look like a brand new harness. We got the new injector clips on. And uh, yeah, she's going to be ready to rip. Yeah.